Yes, and welcome to Vasily's Garden. I'm out in the orchard, folks. Thought I'd come out and have a look around and see what's going on with the fruit trees. A lot of them have kicked into gear with the uh, spring flowers and a lot of them are bringing on leaves as well. Uh, plum trees have really come on quickly. Apples are a bit slow. Some of them are very late varieties and nectarine and peaches as well. And we're standing next to a couple here, or one in particular. Now the one in the background there has died, has gone to heaven. We've got to replace that. But this one here, as you're seeing here also, a couple of things I should mention on them while we're going into the growth of springtime and what we need to look out for. First is you'll still find some dead, diseased or damaged wood. And as we have here, for example, this is, to me, it looks dead. And you would say to cut it out. But if you look at the tip here, it's actually growing. So I may persevere with this branch here. A couple of the side ones are gone, so they've got to go. So the sap flow is really restricted on this one here. It's had a lot of hard times and a lot of the cell wall has probably collapsed through the stress it's gone through. This one on this side here has gone to heaven completely. Now it's in flower and what are we going to look out for at this time of the year? Well, the biggest culprit of all are aphids. They get onto these plants and they knock them out for six. And if you're not paying attention to it, you close your eyes and open them up, open them up a day later, you'll probably see aphids on it. We've been lucky because the winds have been very high at the moment. We've had some really bad weather, high winds and really cold weather. So it hasn't been favorable for the aphids to be prolific or active in any way on these plants. But we're coming into warm days and I had a look at the forecast. We've got 20 plus degrees in the next five to seven days, so up to about 24 degrees. And that is an ideal temperature for aphids to become active. And they will appear magically. And where they tend to appear is along the main tips of the branches, just where the flower connects to the actual branch itself. You'll see they'll cover all this entirely. Now they have in recent years been on peach and nectarine trees earlier at Budswell at this form. So you need to go out and have a look. Depending on your microclimate, and if you're in an area where it's warmer, well protected, not as open to the environments or the harsh elements, there's a chance that you'll get aphids before I do. They will turn up, and in the past what I've done, and I need to reapply this this year, I create a tree guard around the trunk of the tree. And what I do is I applied, well, what I did last year was to apply masking tape on the trunk. Now, I've since gone away from the masking tape because I don't like the way it sticks and adheres so heavily or harshly to uh, the trunk itself, the bark. So when it comes time to actually peel it off, there's a high chance you may peel some of the bark off and actually ring bark it. So you're better off using something like Glad Wrap that hasn't got any adhesive on it, or even another form of um, a sealer that's, that there's no sticky tape on it or sticky side to the tape. So you can wrap it around with even florist tape or even grafting tape and then apply your tree guard paste on top of that. And that guard or that paste itself becomes a barrier, stopping the ants from traveling up and down. Why do we talk about the ants? Well, because the ants love to farm the aphids and scale. So they'll get up there. What they do is they actually farm the insect and populate it on your plant, which then they start to suck the living daylights out of your tree. Second to that is leaf kill, folks. The dreaded leaf kill can take over your tree and destroy it and to the point where it'll kill it completely. Now, what happens with leaf kill? You get blistering of the leaves. You'll see a discoloration on the leaf going a big bright red and a little bit bronzy. And then from there, it starts to blister and kill over and which will affect also the flowers and the fruits. So if you've got your flowering plant or your tree flowering at the moment, you can't do much about that. You just got to hope that it doesn't affect it by leaf curl or gets infected by leaf curl or aphids. But as soon as you can see fruit set and the flowers are falling off, you've got fruit, fruit on the tree, you can start your applications with our disease control pack. That will protect your tree from developing leaf curl and causing it to go backwards and die off. So look out for aphids, scale, ants and leaf curl on your plants. In the meantime, get out there and prune off any dead disease and damaged wood that you may have missed during the winter period. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We'll be back again here at the same channel, same time, whatever place in the world or a part of the world you're living in, folks, uh, to give you another amazing, exciting segment in gardening. Check out our website, vasilisgarden.com. If you're in America or any other country, you can't shop online yet, but if you're in Australia, of course you can, or you can go to our stockist page and find the nearest stockist near you to get our amazing products. Our planting mix is out there. Take advantage of it and start sowing your spring seeds. From Eva Silly, Maresi. Thank you.